The Peugeot 207 is one of the best selling cars in the UK and it's not hard to see why because there's plenty to like about it. Let's start with the looks. This nose is one of the most striking of any super mini and it combines nicely with this sloping roof line and a pert little bottom to give the 207 a sporty appearance. Thankfully though, being a hatchback, it's a lot more practical than a sports car. The 207 has a really spacious boot and with the rear seats folded down, it's one of the most capable load luggers of any super mini. Here in the front, the 207 feels pretty sporty. You've got a nice swooping dash, which is made out of high quality soft touch materials. And there's some silver accents around the air vents and the instrument dials, which add a touch of French flamboyance. Also the controls on the center console are logically laid out and easy to use. And it's dead simple to get comfy because you can alter the driver's seat for height and also the steering wheel for reach and rake. So then the 207 is nice to sit in, but is it nice to drive? In a word, yes. Even though the 207 has rather firm suspension, which feels quite sporty, it's not to the detriment of comfort because even on a bumpy road, it still feels very calm and composed. As for handling, well, lots of reassuring grip and steering that feels very sharp means that the little 207 is actually quite a bit of fun when the road gets twisty. Probably not quite as thrilling as say a Ford Fiesta, but it's not far off. This particular car has the 1.6 litre Ecomotive diesel engine, which does over 70 miles per gallon. However, despite its green credentials, it's pretty punchy. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for all the 207's engines as the cheaper ones are pretty gutless. And that brings us nicely onto the Peugeot 207's bad points, such as a gearbox that's really kind of wobbly and vague and seats that don't offer you that much support so that you roll about a bit in corners and then there's a glove box that is so small it really is only good for keeping gloves in. Another downside is the price. The 207 is not only more expensive than many of its main rivals but it tends to depreciate faster than them too. To show you the 207's final downside I'm going to need to move this chair forward and then get into the back because you'll notice that there really isn't that much space. I mean, almost zero knee room, and certainly not as roomy back here as in, say, a VW Polo. Now, I understand this is the three-door version, but the five-door really isn't much better. However, if you want a super mini that looks pretty sporty and is good fun to drive, then the 207 is well worth a shout.